Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. These are a couple of tips for new gardeners that are growing in containers. And if you're just getting started, you're probably eager, you want to get growing. But there are a couple of things that you can keep in mind and do when growing in containers so that you have a, su a successful garden. And these are squash plants there on the right, determinate variety tomato that gets to a set height. Over here I have cucumbers, same variety of tomatoes, zucchini in there and you can see how big the plants are. Now your larger plants are going to get larger so when you are you know putting in transplants or seeds they may look small like that and you may think hey I can put them in a small five gallon bucket like that black one but you have to imagine how the plants are going to be when they're large. Squash plant that's only one gets huge and as we get closer you can see all the flowers how healthy it is there is a squash growing in there right in the bottom. I've already harvested maybe six or eight out of there. The tomato plant is a determinate variety. That's going to get about three feet tall, set a lot of fruit. The root systems are going to take over that entire space. So the first tip is, is you really have to match the container to the size of the plants that are going to be in there. Those containers, the metal ones, are about 20 gallons. These uh, whiskey barrels, half whiskey barrels, are probably almost 40 gallons. So you really have to start with the large container for these larger plants. All the containers have holes in them. You want them to drain. That's the second point. You don't want water sitting in your containers or it will, it will kill off the plant by rotting the roots. So in here I have three cucumber plants. I've been harvesting off of these two. There's one right there and then another one down on the bottom. There are three plants in here. That's a lot for a 20 gallon container. You only want to really start with maybe two if you're just getting started. But again, the container size and drainage are really important. This is a zucchini plant. It's doing really well. Uh, right in there, you can see one of the zucchinis and another tomato plant. So the extra tomato plants in here are really to see how far I can push these larger containers. In theory, you might just want to go with one or two determinate tomatoes in there, or one squash. Don't overdo it, would be point three. Don't pack in a lot of plants thinking they're small, they'll fit. You have to, again, going back to number one, imagine how big the plants are going to be. The third point, really, maybe fourth point, is that you want to use a potting mix. When you go into the big box stores, you're gonna see all kinds of different bagged container soils or ground soils or bag soils you want one that says potting mix or container mix and that's basically 50 percent peat moss and other materials that hold water your container mix your potting mix has to hold a lot of water so you really want to make sure it's it's a potting mix you buy it at the store it can be a little bit expensive or take 50 percent of your earth that's out anywhere on your property and add 50 percent peat moss or 50% cocoa core or a combination of peat moss and cocoa core. Those products will hold water. So it's a 50-50 mix. Your plants will love you for it. When you're setting up the soil, fill the container halfway with the soil, with the container mix. Put in a couple handfuls of any granular organic fertilizer, mix it in well. Fill in the rest of the container, put in another handful of two on top, mix it in, your container is set up. So we have the container size, we have the container mix, we have drainage holes, we have fertilizer, and then you can plant something like this. You're gonna need some sort of trellising to hold up tomato vines. I use these little stools that will direct down that squash plant over there so it doesn't snap on the bucket. Over here I have a uh, trellis, an A-frame trellis, the cucumbers are growing up and then a couple different posts in there. So you can use different things to trellis. The other thing that you want to have is a water-soluble fertilizer. The granular types you mix in the soil, they slowly release over the weeks. The water-soluble fertilizers, you feed your plants every really 10 to 21 days depending on the size of the plants. When the plants are smaller, you're closer to every 21 days. When your plants are bigger and producing, you use the water-soluble more often. Water-soluble fertilizer mixes with water, just follow whatever instructions you have on the uh, brand that you buy and then you can water the leaves of the plants and the soil. Water soluble is immediately available. That means your plant can take it in through its leaves and roots 
and use the nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium right away. Keeps your plants producing, green, and happy. So these are the main keys that I would recommend um, you kind of review when you're deciding to grow your larger plants, cukes, zooks, squash, tomatoes, in containers. Don't start with small containers, you'll be very disappointed. When the temperatures are cool, you don't have to water as much. So sometimes the smaller containers look like they're working. But once you get into the summer and the plants are bigger, these plants can take the water out of this container mix in a day and you may have to water once or twice. If you don't water your plants and the soil dries out completely, which happens a lot in container plants if the containers are too small, the root system dries out, gets messed up, and the plants suffer. Hope this gives you the information you need to have a successful container garden. Thanks so much for watching.